Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you ever read a scripture that leaves you scratching your head, kind of going, what in the world does this mean? Uh, Matthew 7, 6 is one of those scriptures that a lot of people go, what in the world is Jesus talking about it? And yet we reference it quite often in our, our normal conversations, or at least I've heard it used a lot in, uh, by people. So Jesus says, do not give dogs what is holy and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. So don't cast your pearls before swine. Don't give dogs what is holy. What in the world is Jesus talking about? And especially where it is. I mean, it's sandwiched right in between a, a, a passage on do not judge other people. Take the, the log out of your own eye before you try to correct someone else. And then a teaching on prayer. And, and here it is right in the middle of that. And it's kind of go, it leaves me scratching my head sometimes. So how do we understand this? Well, uh, this is how I understand it. The pearls, or what is holy, is the gospel. It's the hope we have in Jesus of salvation, of forgiveness, of life eternal. The swine, or the dogs in this case, are people who basically hate Jesus, hate the gospel, hate truth in general. And so what is, what is Jesus saying? He's not saying that we should neglect the ministry of pro proclaiming the gospel. Okay, he's not excusing us from not sharing our faith in Jesus, okay? That's not at all what he's saying. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, you can go throughout the Gospels and find Jesus telling us to go and tell. But what is he saying? Well, I think what he's saying is when you encounter someone who is so anti-Jesus, anti-Christ, anti-truth, anti-Gospel, don't beat your head against the wall. Don't engage in a fight because you're not going to convince them anyway. I know there's a place for apologetics, and I believe in apologetics, but most of the time for apologetics to be effective, it needs to be in like a public and fair setting, not a one-on-one -on -one conversation, definitely not a social media conversation. It needs to be something that is done in a, in a public space where there's a conversation back and forth with rules of engagement. So uh, when you encounter someone who is just uh, really scathingly anti-Jesus, uh, walk away. Give them space. Don't cast your pearls before swine. And so, you know, I'm not really calling them swine, Jesus says. But um, understand that, we're, you know, we're going to have opportunities to share the gospel and look for those opportunities where the Holy Spirit is at work. And maybe by our gentle response, maybe by our kind approach, even to people who persecute us or abuse us verbally, uh, the Holy Spirit can plant those seeds that may one day bear fruition. But uh, we're not going to get anywhere just by trying to combat their anger with our righteousness or our truth. So uh, give them space and go to somebody else who is open to the message and see what God does. So I hope that explains this passage a little bit. And I'm praying that you won't encounter any swine this week. But if you do, uh, don't waste your pearls on them. Save them for somebody who cares. I hope that blesses. Have a great day.